already said, this is gonna be the A-Rex PR378 GB swim bait in size one. It's already in the vise. Okay, I'm just gonna use some Viva 6 Hot. And I'm honestly just gonna, I'm not even gonna worry about the rattle for this video. Or, I'm gonna, or am I gonna regret that? Yeah, I'm gonna regret it. Let me get a rattle on there and I'll be right back with y'all. All right, I'm back. So I just put a little mini rattle under there. All right, Vivas 6 Aught. I did learn when tying those musky flies, a big thing too is making sure we're not, like, making sure we are, how do I say this? Just use your thread wraps conservatively, I guess. That would be a good way to put it. Because we do not want to be bulking up anything. This is how much we have to work with for this fly. Which, it does make it a pain. It's almost, that's the only reason the shanks are kind of worth it, but sometimes it's just like a quick tie, you know? Nobody wants to, not everybody wants to spend so much time just on the one fly. So, we're literally going to follow the recipe because I'm doing this on the fly. Get it? This is a freestyle fly. I'm literally gonna follow the recipe that I followed for the other one. And trust me, I've taken razors to a lot of these style flies like this. Trying to get the tail right, because when you only have this much to tie on, the tail can get flimsy real quick. So this is a piece of bucktail that I've got that's really like airy, tight, really good for like spinning style bucktail. And down here, it's not as coarse as deer hair, but it's still a lot coarser. So I'm going to build like, the easiest way to say it is really like a skirt. And I'll show you what I mean. Okay. And this is all trash. So we're going to take off. So yeah, we would literally want that. This is just a little tiny piece of bucktail. About three wraps. I'm gonna try to. You're not gonna spread it around real good because obviously the way this hook is built. You're not, it's gonna be tricky to get it down there, but. Okay. So yeah, I know that looks like crap right now. What I'm gonna do is actually take some wraps under it. Not too many, but maybe one or two to stick it up. Just like that. And like I said, we are worried about bulk, so Normally you could just wrap over this little tiny butt sections, but I'm cutting them off. Just trying to save myself as much real estate on this little shank as I can. Let me see what else I got here, okay. Some long grizzly saddles. Picking our feathers according to the hook, and this is where I just went absolutely crazy I we're not gonna be worried about laying them on a certain way or anything like that I'm just trying to get be able to get as much tail as I can on this fly
bugtail. So, okay, see, that's what that bugtail is supposed to do right there. Kind of hold these feathers up like that. I'm just going to throw a half inch just to save my work right there. Next thing we're going to do is some flash. I'm just going to choose this color. Let's get dark on top of the fly. Flashaboo. It doesn't say the color. Hmm. Speck sil speckled silver, I guess. Yeah, this will look cool. The grizzly and the speckled flash. They'll give off some cool vibrations, bruh. same piece of bucktail. I'm just going to grab from up here now. And I want to do one reverse tie. So what's going to happen is we're not building our head yet, right? We only got like two stacks of bucktail left. So what we're going to do is this bucktail right here is going to become our body. So it's going to come all the way out here. And I'm going to reverse tie it. I might put a bullet, but I don't know. We'll see how it looks. This is gonna look sick. Yeah, bullet would probably be best. cool. I'm honestly thinking we might just tie another mm, I don't know if we have room we can try we can try we can try we're gonna do one more stack of bucktail up there And the reason I bullet tie too, when I say bullet tie, I mean tying over the, when I lay the bucktail this way, instead of having a thread dam to flare it out, I just tie over it, is because it gives us a smaller, pretty much a smaller surface for this popper head to go on. So that looks pretty good. Now, Gotta find a way to get this popper head to fit on there. All right, unfortunately, I did not have any double barrels small enough to fit over this head, but I've got these Wapsy Perfect Poppers. They're not gonna be as pretty, but we'll just see what we're looking at right now. Oh, shoot. Let 
Yeah, this isn't really going to work too well. Let's see, we have this big gap back here. But I have a trick for that. I'll show you that trick right now. Oops. I did not mean to do that. It's almost like a weedless swing indeed starting to look like, but... Where's my big bobbin? There it is. Where's my lighter? There it is. It's a big old thick bobbin. I'm going to heat it up really hot and I'm actually going to start hollowing out a bigger hole. One stack of flashable on its back is what I'm trying to say. Popper head on here. Yeah, that's gonna look pretty sick. I'm gonna go ahead and get that all super glued on. This is just the gel controlled Loctite. I like to put move and put a little bit on the material itself and you see we have a little gap here because I did you know you slide the head right over the material so I'm gonna put a little bit Super glue right there. Just pinch it down. And it shouldn't take long for this to cure. You go. So this looks pretty sick. I like it. I mean, it really is, except for the spinner and all that. Obviously, this is a much simpler version of this guy. I like when I blended the flash in. That was pretty cool too. But smaller, you know, creek, small rivers. I mean, significantly smaller. Just look at the head on this one. I'll have to show them like this after the video, but... So, this is the YouTube, so I'm gonna grab some eyes. I don't have a, like, burner, otherwise I would burn in there and create some little eye holes, but I've got my bag of eBay eyes. I'm gonna look through these and see... Oh, I already know what I want. What do you guys think? Should I leave it white like this one or color it up? 
Oh, let's color it up. All right, let me get my Sharpies out. Just gonna give it a red popper mouth and this uh, metallic silver on top. This is pretty much it. Just a really like versatile fly. Obviously you can fish this on floating line. It's gonna ride hook point up, it's gonna be a popper. You don't have to worry about getting this snagged on anything as long as you don't you know, cast it into a tree or something. Which some of them, the thicker ones like that musky fly I was showing you. This guy, you can throw this into a tree and be just fine as long as you don't you know, try to yank the hook out, out of the tree because that hook point is just dense in there. Um, so for the size comparison, let me try to show you that. Significantly smaller. And guess what? I don't have a name for this fly yet, but it is, it's one of my favorite ties on this hook. This is on the six aught. This is on the number one. It's just, it's not a sneaky fly. I mean, it's a loud fly, whether you're fishing it on floating or sneaking line, it's gonna make noise and get the fish's attention. So yeah, there it is. Hope you guys have a good uh, fly tying season. I know things are cooling down here in the Southeast, so that's when a lot of people tend to fill their boxes up. Tie a couple of these, you only need like two or three. You're not gonna lose these flies very easily. And uh, sometimes, Patterns like this may not be the most effective, but they're just fun when the fish does take it. It's very explosive So thank you for watching everybody. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see more of these longer type fly tying videos like I would love to tie this on camera But Just let me know this is a more bass style. I also want to do like because when I first started tying flies for bass, I was kind of, you know, everybody kind of takes trout patterns and makes them a little bigger, or saltwater patterns and makes them a little smaller or bigger. Now, I'm just, with these hooks, I want to tie musky flies just a little smaller. <laughs> and uh, anyways, I'll let y'all go. Y'all have better things to do. But before you leave, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Uh, a lot of fly tying content coming up because it is cooling down here. I'm going to try to do some musky fishing and some trout fishing, actually. I know, i got to force myself to trout fish. That's what the people want to see. But, anyways, thank you everybody, and I'll catch you guys next time on another episode of The Everyday Angler.